Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss further into our percentage calculator, which uh, we made last year, and we also made a video tutorial on it uh, a while ago as well. But now we've updated the site and changed things, so I'm, I'm gonna do an updated tutorial. And once again, you can go to the website at percentcalculator.com. So if you open up a browser, you get right here, and just type percentcalculator.com. Here it's already um, it's already there. So when he loads up, it becomes something like this. So if you haven't used it in a while, you'll see that there's some stuff that has been changed. And also, let's just hide this. You can hide that by clicking there. And now what you can see here, it has this is a calculation right here. And we added this uh, this question button. And if you click this button, see what happens. It shows the formula of each of these inputs. And if you click this one, it has the formula A, B, and A is this one's A, this one's B. And if you type in whatever number you want, let's say 3 is what percentage of, and then if you press tab, let's go 5, 60%, and there you go, it automatically puts it in here. 3 divided by 5 times by 100 is 60%. And then same with here, type 36, type whatever, and everything goes, shows you the formula, automatically updates. Everything is pretty automated, and it's pretty amazing, actually. So you type all these in, let's just do a test one, and I'll go over, and I'll go over uh, just in handwritten calculations of these. So again, keep typing stuff in, let's increase from point one to, let's say, 12, let's just write bigger number until you get over here in scientific notation. This is just a rounding, up to this because again this we don't have enough the input size I mean the answer box is not big enough to hold that many zeros so plug it in and it just rounds it up to 1.23 times 10 to the power of 7 and then there's again the formula here and I'll get to those in a bit now percentage of a mixed fraction here's that formula so one let's go with now three over four that's 170 Five percent. There's the formula for it, and keep going here. If you click the more or less, there's even more calculations. And again, if you have any uh, calculations that we haven't put up here that you thought is useful, just comment over here. Just comment in the Facebook comments or in this YouTube video, and I will uh, get this updated. So I'm just going to put in a bunch of random numbers. We'll go over this in detail. So 12. By 465% increase, that's 67.8. And go here, 23.10. All right, here I've uh, yeah basically copied and pasted the screenshot of the percentage calculator with those same inputs that we use. I'm going to go over each of these individually and just see how to get these formulas as well. So if we look at this first one, I'll just make some space in between. 3 is what percentage of 5? Answer 60%. And again, this is a very basic one. Whenever you're looking for what percentage of a number, all this is is just the ratio of, of basically 3 over 5. So 3 is a percentage of 5. And whenever you have a percentage of a number, you just divide it by it. So that goes at the bottom. So that's just this ratio. But again, we multiply by a 100 to get this percent right here. Otherwise, it would be, well, this would equal to 0.6. You put in the calculator times by 100, and then that, that is just a 60%. And again, this is the two decimal places here. Now, when we look at the second, uh, the second calculation right here, what is 36% of 830, yeah, I mean 8,334? We get this formula here, 36 times by this divided by 100. Well, to get this, what this is mean, what this means, if we look at the exact same uh, formula for this one, for the first calculation, what we have, see, so three is what percentage of five? That's three divided by five. So what this means now is, if this is 36% of this number, what this means is, what we need to find out is x over 8334 equals to 36 percent so what this is saying is is basically yeah is basically rewriting this initial calculation now we're looking at what is this value to get this 36 percent or in other words x is 36 percent of 34 in this case 3 is what percentage of 5 
and that's 60 percent so it's just it's just a way of rewriting stuff so then when you rewrite this x equals to 36 percent times by 8334 again this 36 that just equals to um, this is just equals to 36 divided by 100 because remember we always multiply by a hundred for the percent and this is just times by 8334 and again that's this exact formula and you plug it in you'll get this exact answer and that equals two plug this into a calculator and round it up to four so that's the answer and now when we look at this third calculation this is almost identical to what we were doing here except instead of looking for well this yeah this x value on top this is a percentage of a number a number the percentage of a number like of five always goes at the bottom so what we have now is 120, I mean 1,234 is 355% of what? So this is the x now. So divide by it equals to 355. Actually, again, divide by it, and then we also have to multiply by this 100. Yeah, so that there's always that extra 100. Yeah, that rises from here. So times by 100 equals to 355 percent so what this means now is again rewriting this we have now x equals 2 move this over to the right side and then divide this out we get 1 2 3 4 divided by 355 times by 100 yeah, and again when you add this 100 this percent sign that just means you add this 100 and this is the exact same formula there plug that in the calculator we get 347 0.61. And now this uh, next uh, equation increase decrease from 0.1 to 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, uh, or 12,335. Answer right here is in scientific notation. I'll write that down. Scientific notation. And this is basically a way of, uh, of compressing these really long uh, numbers into just uh, a standard standard form that now it's uh, it's written as a multiplication of 10 to the power of a number here so that it just rounds it up and puts zeros there and I'll show you what I mean in a bit so basically this increase decrease from point 1 to 1 2 3 3 5 this is an increase in, a, in our case so what this means is in this formula how to get this is simply well we're going from point 1 to 1 so from here so we have to go from so the actual formula is just increase divided by the original number so in this case 0.1 and then that's this times by 100 so that's just the basic formula and in this case the increase is going to be well the difference here 135 so we were subtracting this new value from the original to see how much it actually changed divided by 0.1 again times by 100 and we get in this case 1 uh, yeah 1.23 times 10 to the power of 7% but again, this just means one, two, three, and again, we're uh, rounding in. It's better. It's more likely. It's, it's actually it's better to put an approximate equal sign because again, it makes these next values all zero. So one, two, three, zero, zero, and this goes to well seven times. This just means there's seven decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what this equals to. And this is, yeah, so seven right here, that's our answer. And again, if you write this out, this looks just like this, 1.23 times it by, and then it's gonna be, well, 10, three, one, two, three, four. So that's four, let's write this out. Yeah, so by, this is just basically writing times it by 10 million. And now let's look at the next one, which is a mixed fraction, and see how this formula is formed. So this is one, and three fourths. So what this means in the sense is 175%. What this means is that we have one full four or four out of four plus this three over four. So that's what this mixed fraction here. This is a whole uh, number right here. So that means is we have one times it by this is the fraction here. So four out of four plus in this case now we have to finally add this fraction. So if this was a two, for example, if this was a two, we would just multiply by two of these. So we have two full of these numbers. 
Plus, since it's just a one, just put a one. And this is all there's, and we just add this rest three over four. This equals two. Again, uh, see the common denominator right there is four. Again, we also have to times this by 100 if we want to get this percent. So times it by 100. Again, this equals two. Factor out the bottom four because it's common denominator. This is simply, well, one times four plus three all divided by four times by 100. And that's exactly this formula. And again, plug this into calculator. We get 175, but since we added this 100, again, we have this percent. So that is our answer. And now moving on to the more calculations. These ones are more, uh, they're just basically more basic, but still useful to have because it just saves time and from the tedious multiplication and division of, of percentages. So in this case, it's uh, one times by 34%. And again, that's just a basic, basic formula. So one times 34 over 100. So 34%, anytime you have a percent, that just means, well, it's you multiplied by 100. So the actual value is divided by 100. And then this is what it is. So that's exactly this formula. That's just simply, well, again, 0.34. So that's just a very basic one. And now moving on to the division, this is again very basic. So 23 divided by 43%. And again, the 43, because it's a percent, you always divide by an extra 100. So now we have something like this, and that's exactly this formula. Plug this in at the calculator, we've got 53.49. That's rounded up again. And now the next one is a bit more complicated. So increase 12 by 465%. And this is 67.8. So to get this formula, let's just go from the basics. So we're increasing 12 by this amount of percent, by this amount of percentage. So what this means is, well, first what we have is 12. So now we're increasing it. So we have to add, and now we have to add 465% of 12. So what we have to find out is here is 465% of 12. So what this means again, if we scroll back up, the fir very first question is three is what percentage of five? That was just this three divided by five number. And again, uh, the second one, 36% of 8334. We again had to rearrange this first calculation to get this X value. So going all the way back here, so we're adding 465 percentage of 12. This is going to equal to 12 plus. And now, again, I'll just uh, find this out first, actually, separately. So 465 percent of 12. How to solve this? What we have to do is, is again, write it exactly like it, how we had in the first calculation. X divided by 12. So this is the percentage of 12, we're going to times it by 100, equals to 465%. So what this means now, our x value is going to be equal to, to sort this out, 465 divided by 100 times it by 12. So that's this x value, so we are increasing it by this x value. Yeah, this equals to so 465% of 12 equals to this x value. So, yeah, so putting this all together, we have 12 plus an increase of 465% times it by 12. That's our x value. That's this x, but this is written as 12. Again, this equals to 12. Uh, yeah, 12 times it by, I mean, 12 plus 465 divided by 100, because that's the percentage, times it by 12. This equals 2. Take the 12 out, factor out 12, 1 plus 465 over 100. And then if you see this, there's again, that's 12 times 1 plus 465 divided by 100. That is the formula, equals 67.80. That's again, if you plug into the calculator, you get this value. So that's the increase. If you increase by 465%. And now for the last equation, this is decreased by 34%. And in fact, this is exactly the same thing as this increase, but instead of adding, we have a subtraction. So that's a plus. Here we have a subtraction, so we could skip all of this stuff and get straight down to this. But again, this formula is written actually 
a bit different. I'll, I'll try to change it in a later update to make it the same as this. But if you get the idea here, this is because we didn't factor out the 35 here as we did with the 12. So I'll get to this formula soon. So we have 35, now we just simply minus, and again, the uh, multiplication of 34% and 35. And that's exactly what we did here. 4, 6, 5 times 12, there's a plus, but now we have a minus and there's a 34. And again, this equals 2, 35, yeah, 35 minus 35 times it by 34 over 100, that's the percentage. And there's the exact formula right here, but you could also factor it out, so 35. Now we have one minus 34 over 100, which would be similar to this one here, 12 and then one plus, instead of a plus, you have a minus. So it's the exact same thing, plug this into the calculator, you should get 23.8. But if you don't, if you get some errors from our calculator, just comment in the YouTube videos or the Facebook comments on the website, and we will fix it up. But anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this pretty uh, basic walkthrough on our um, percentage calculator. Hopefully you use it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It saves a lot of tedious times whenever you're doing your, I don't know, taxes or just basic tips. Uh, at the restaurant or whatever you need to use uh, percentages for. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.